Yet another year has come and gone, and 2018 was a big one for games and gamers alike. With the Nintendo Switch dominating console sales with the multiple ports and exclusives, gaming this year was almost overwhelming. We over at Shack News have voted for the top 10 games to hit our gaming systems and PCs this year. Both our community and staff votes were counted, so let's dive into the best this year had to offer. These are the top 10 games of 2018. And I want to look them straight in the eye, and I want to tell them what a cheap, lying, no good, rotten, four flushing, low life, snake licking, dirt eating, inbred, overstuffed, ignorant, blood sucking, dog kissing, brainless, dickless, hopeless, heartless, fat ass, bug eyed, stiff legged, spotty lip, worm headed sack of monkey shit he is. Hallelujah! Holy shit! Where's the Tylenol? It's been a good long while since the Dragon Ball franchise has had a decent fighting game. However, with its surprise announcement at E3 2017 this year, it caught everyone off guard. The amount of detail in the game was uncanny, taking all the moves from each fighter from the show and somehow implementing these cartoon moves and trademark abilities flawlessly into the game. Dragon Ball Fighters achieved the most viewers in its Evo debut this year. And with its easy to pick up and play, yet difficult to master gameplay, it's easy to see why. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Your heart fiddled indeed. Being a pirate is a wretched thing. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. In a world of battle royales and arena shooters, Sea of Thieves goes back to a simpler type of game. In an open sea of adventure where you, the player, make the most of it. Sure, at its start, the game was met with heavy criticism. However, my mates and I had a blast sailing the seas and questing together. There's also no other game in the world that can compare to the water physics in Sea of Thieves. It's some of the best water you'll ever see. The amount of teamwork and coordination it takes to steal or save your own hard-earned booty is a joy to play. Hats off to Rare, this game is truly a unique experience. Blue sky above and blue ocean below, you are a pirate! <laughs> you, are you are a pirate! <laughs> The latest edition of Super Smash Bros. is here, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Not only is the party brawler back in full force, it was now on the Nintendo Switch. Everyone was here, well, except Waluigi, but almost everyone. Huh. Ah, come on. And just like each game before, the roster expands and the stages grow in number, making it the biggest Smash Brothers game in history. Not to mention the single player story mode, which is also pretty great. This massive world is the biggest the Monster Hunter series has gotten giving players hundreds of hours of gameplay with friends, solo, or with strangers. Monster Hunter World gives players so much to do and different ways to do them, it's easy to spend hours working toward a goal. Armor, weapons, potions, and of course, monster hunting come together beautifully in Monster Hunter World. Come follow me I'll show you this side of the world The places that you'll never see Come follow me There's something to be said about Tetris-like games. For over 30 years, the core gameplay has remained unchanged, for the most part. However, Tetris Effect is not only a game, but a piece of fine art. Both visuals and audio were able to stimulate gamers and people in ways no other game has. Some of our staff has never really cared for Tetris-like games, but yet they were able to get into Tetris Effect. The visuals, music, gameplay, and sounds all come together to form an almost perfect game. It's criminal this game isn't on Nintendo Switch, but you can enjoy it on PS4 in both VR and non-VR versions. Open world 
games are becoming bigger every year. It's not uncommon for them to have over 100 hours of content. Most are unable to make all that content feel important and engaging though. This is not a problem with Red Dead Redemption 2. Whether you are chasing the thrill of a daring train robbery or the serenity of a solo camping trip, Red Dead Redemption 2 is an open world game you will return to time and time again. Gonna paint your wagon, gonna paint it fine. Gonna use oil-based paint, cause the wood is pine. There have been a lot of Metroidvania games in 2017, and most of them made their way onto the Switch in 2018. Hollow Knight's a great example. However, Dead Cells struck a chord with gamers, with its fast-paced fun combat and its Castlevania-style level layouts with secrets and abilities to unlock. It was a fantastic surprise for us in 2018. It's almost a mandatory purchase on Nintendo Switch, so if you haven't bought it yet, check it out. You'll be happy you did. The simple premise of climbing a mountain has never been more enjoyable. Celeste has made its way into multiple top 10 lists this year on Shack News. From the top 10 indie games you need to play, part 2, and the top 10 indie games of 2018. It's no surprise it finished top 3 of the Shack News top 10 games of the year for 2018. Celeste manages to be retro and redefining at the same time. Memorable yet new, familiar yet different, in all the right ways. It's cute and charming, and at some points extremely difficult. Give it a chance if you haven't pulled the trigger on buying it. It's some of the best platforming you'll experience this year. Are you going to do it? A direct sequel to God of War 3, God of War takes you on a journey with the one and only Kratos and his son. This sequel to the PS3 trilogy is extremely well done, with an amazing open world to explore, fun and violent combat to partake in, and of course, an incredible story that will leave you emotionally involved from start to finish. The game also looks absolutely gorgeous, especially in 4K on the PS4 Pro. Kratos' return to the console was executed perfectly, and it's earned its place as one of the best games in 2018. Marvel movies have been all the rage these last 10 years. However, games featuring the famous Marvel lineup have been in short supply. Aside from a VR title and the load of less than stellar mobile games, it appeared that Mr. Mouse wasn't interested in making a lot of console Marvel superhero games. Woof. You don't <laughs> talk to me like that, <laughs> you little <laughs> piece of <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> However, Spider-Man was being developed, and although it took about four years to complete, it ended up being what is now the definitive Spider-Man game. I don't think there's been such a revolutionary Spider-Man game since Spider-Man 2 back in 2004. Great care and attention to detail was given to the game, from the visuals, to the story, to the voice acting. Everything was executed to near perfection, giving the player the ultimate Spider-Man experience. The game definitely set the standard for all single-player superhero games to come. What games did you guys think were the best this year? Let us know in the comments below. For more videos like this and everything else gaming related, you're already in the right place. You're on shacknews.com.